Wow. It's looking so good. Six K twelve bit red row codec. We are gonna be testing up today on the Inch Resolve this new codec by Nikon Sela. We are going to be looking the differences between the 16-bit red row codec and 12-bit red row codec by Nikon. Let's see the timeline performance of this codec and the noise level of this raw footage. Alright, we are in DaVinci Resolve 20.2.2 R3D 12-bit red row codec from Nikon Zella. Let's check the noise level where it starts and how to remove okay on the color passport we will be focusing the highlight shadow and the midtones we can easily see the noise at the shadows i am playing it through to see better and there is noise on the midtones so we can say the noise begins early in the midtones and as expected in the shadows Maybe you might be surprised to see this much noise, but if you're not familiar with the RAW codec, it is so usual. Because RAW means the footage comes straight out of the sensor without any changes and noise reduction by camera itself. So even in the log footage, the camera is changing and making noise reduction. This is the beauty of the RAW codec, because you have the full control access to the image okay we can see the noise on our talents face in the shadows and midtones and it's so easy to remove it by tiny bit noise reduction i will just try to remove it by focusing the midtones here as you can see because you're gonna see in this kind of cinematic color gradings that's enough but there's a caveat in here that I will mention later on. And with this level tiny noise reduction, it is not affecting the sharpness level much. This is so also perfect. As you see all the noise removed from midtones and just little in the shadows and highlights are already so clean. And when we check the noise reduction with the Rex 709 applied by CSD, as I mentioned, that's so good enough. Let's active my cinematic color grading. A nice split tone and 16mm vintage vibe colors I made. When we check shadows, as you see, there is no noise. Because when you darken your shadows by color grading process, it's already gone. No need to focus shadows noise on this kind of cinematic color gradings that much. As you can see on and off noise reduction, by the way, you might see some bending on the background. It's because of the YouTube compression and screen recording bitrate while I am doing this video. So it's not about codec. Trust me, it's battery smooth on the background without any bending. In the next one, this is kind of Rex 709-ish commercial look, we can say. BT type of commercial grading for this one. And as I said, there's a caveat in here for this kind of looks, you may need more powerful noise reduction because on this type of color gradings, our contrast is being so high and on the commercials, we always give a life for shadow and the midtones and the noise on the shadows might seem easily. So I exaggerated with settings and give it more powerful noise reduction and it's gone again. We can see on our talent's face details. It's all here and so good. As you see before and after. As we check our waveform, we don't lose any knowledge from the shadow and the highlights. I can easily say highlight roll-off is so good. Before and after. And our skin tone is so smooth. Okay, let's go to another two. I made two different monochromatic color grading. It's one color type of look, like a filter you can think. I did it because it's necessary to see how it responds, because mostly this type of monochromatic colors, if you are not careful, image breaks so easily. Artifacts and bendings might seem. Let's check on our talent's face. 
there is many transition point in here as you see the transition on the face is so smooth and no issue especially on hair it blends so perfectly on highlighted and shadowed part on the other it looks the same it's so smooth i have to say it it's so easy to work with raw footage and nikon did it so good with zr before and after before and after let's check on clothes again before and after well next to art cinematic again two type of split tone look teal and orange vibe as you see on vector scope here before and after before and after and i applied grain on this one let's check with grain and without it so nice and the last one this one is kind of moonlight look this technique is getting used at night time moonlight looks very often because you never expose the dark you always expose for the right and then bring back to the night or dark look as you wish and before after it's so smooth so good guys and we lose any detail on the shadows look at the waveform nothing is clipping shadows are protected and i forget to mention about raw settings on nikon zr on davinci resolve is little bit limited there is normally more controlled settings in this one if it was 16 bit red row codec but for 2200 us it is so good i think it shouldn't be an issue so far so good well this new codec is a game changer for the mirrorless hybrid cameras and the pocket cinema cameras why because this Nikon ZA gonna give us the option of the internal recording 12-bit RAW codec. This is the first time hybrid or pocket cinema camera ability of the recording internally. However, it looks great, but there's some advantages and disadvantages using this codec till Nikon gives an update for the Nikon ZA. Let's see what are those. Advantages 12 bit red row recording internally. Row settings on the DaVinci Resolve color grading. Red Codex is known as the one of the best editing for timeline. Row file means you getting your footage straight out of the sensor without any changes. This codec is not 16 bit standard red row, but it's still solid. No full access for the raw settings on DaVinci color grading, but I think that's okay. As I mentioned in the previous video, if you not watched, you can check it too. And the file sizes are so huge on Nikon ZR because there's no compressed codex options for recording. As I told you, it's gonna be fixed. So overall, this new codec is definitely changing the game and it's putting your color grading to another level if i get this camera i will definitely be using this codec and what is your thoughts about this new codec you can put your thoughts on the comment section and don't forget to subscribe see you on the next video